So, my dear darlings, today I have a puzzle haul. I have a bunch of puzzles. Some of them are new. I still haven't opened them. And these ones over here are all already made. Most of these puzzles I bought on Amazon and 95% of them I bought during this quarantine madness so because I was bored <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea or it would be interesting to show you all the puzzles that I got let's begin I think I'm gonna start with the new ones because I'm also kind of excited to look at them <laughs> Also, all the puzzles that I bought on Amazon, I will link below. Is also a thousand beads. And this one I really wanted because it is a puzzle of Venice. One is also a thousand piece. This one is very cute. Look at all those cute animals. So pretty. Oh, yes. This one is Harley Quinn and it's a thousand pieces too. doesn't have the big picture only has this little looks like a sticker inside but that's not nice mm. this one is another Harley Quinn and the Joker puzzle but it is a 500 piece puzzle so this one's gonna be very easy <laughs> This one also doesn't have the big picture thing. That's okay. This one is Jet Bull, which I love too. And it's also 500 piece. This one is adorable. It's a um, Nickelodeon puzzle and it has a thousand pieces. It kind of matches my nail, right? Yeah. also very colorful. <laughs> I loved this monster's um, cartoon or animated movie and I thought this was very cute and it is a more of a different shaped puzzle. It's like a long. This one is 700 pieces. does have the big picture. <laughs> I 
this one is another happy uh, puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle and it has all these cute gnomes. gonna be a big puzzle <laughs> even though it's a thousand piece puzzle too but the box is so much bigger than the other ones but yeah this one looks so cool I was really excited about this one a big box for this. <laughs> now look at this. This is 1,000 piece puzzle. What? This one, this one is from eBay and I did not pay attention. It does say mini puzzle so the pieces are probably very tiny. I've never done a mini puzzle, so this will be interesting. <sighs> what in the is this? <laughs> what? It's very pretty puzzle. Like the ink is absolutely gorgeous, but I would have loved it in just a normal puzzle size. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? Uh -oh. oh my god. If I do succeed in making this, it's definitely gonna be in my Instagram stories at some point because that's where I usually post all the puzzles that I make. Oh my god! So these are the last two that are new and these are the ones that I was really 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 excited about. These are Game of Thrones puzzles. They're both only 500 pieces because um, they are very expensive. So I have this one right here and I have this one. This one is so beautiful. I saw the 2,000 piece on eBay. I really, really want to get it. The only seller that had it that I could find was selling it for like $235 or $245 for the 2,000 piece. I mean, that's a lot of money for a puzzle. <laughs> I did email the company that makes this, Buffalo Games and Puzzles, and I asked them if they have this because you can't find them in the store. I can't find them anywhere besides eBay and, and they emailed me back and they said that they the production has stopped due to this pandemic but they will resume production very soon and they will have this most likely so I'm just gonna wait until they have the big 2000 piece puzzle in this same picture. This 500 piece was like 30 bucks. What? But they wanted it. These ones don't have bags, but um, I hope none of them are missing because mm -mm -mm. 
at least they do have the big images and I'm so excited because I'm gonna keep these as posters now I'm gonna show you all the ones that I've already assembled mm-hmm So I'm going to start with 300s. And I'm going to show you a picture of the puzzle already assembled. Next I have a turtle and fishes. It's like a sea puzzle. Mm, yummy. This is a puzzle of delicious donuts. pieces as well. This one is very Easter-y <laughs> and this one my husband got it from Target along with this one but these are 300 piece puzzles very quick to make. <laughs> now let's show you 500s This one seemed like it was going to be very easy because it's only 500 pieces and the picture looked easy but it was actually a little bit of a difficult puzzle to make not hard but a bit more challenging but it's very pretty <laughs> I actually wanted to get more from these this company Zozoville because they have a bunch of other characters Oh, here. These look so adorable. Like, ugly adorable. But they don't have them available on the website. And then I found some on eBay and Amazon. And they were, like, really expensive. So, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> this one was another puzzle that my husband got from Target. It was the only thing they had available. He just grabbed whatever puzzles were on the shelf. So, not my favorite at all because this is the whole image. It's just so busy and it's not... It, it's just a bunch of little pictures in, in one. This, I don't really like it. This one looks very beautiful. The quality of the puzzle was horrendous. It was so... like the pieces were just peeling and they wouldn't click together nicely. So I didn't enjoy making this. But once I was done with it, it looks pretty. So it's okay, I forgive you. But yeah, poor quality on this one. No, no, no. I think I got this from Barnes and Noble's website. Yeah, Barnes and Noble's website. This one is from the same company. A bunch of them are from Buffalo Games and Puzzles. And this one was better quality than this one, even though it looks like it's the same collection. Anyway, the picture is so pretty. Again, I loved it. I did enjoy making this one way more than the other one. These two are some of my favorites. <laughs> the Mandalorian was such a great show. Season one, oh, amazing. Loved the child. I call him Baby Yoda. I know, it's not Baby Yoda. But, I mean, I can't help but think that Yoda looked like that when he was a baby. So, oh, Baby Yoda for me. Anyway, these two... 500 piece each. So pretty. Okay, now the thousand piece. This 
saw was okay. It's like a desert type of situation. It was okay. Not my favorite. Butterflies. This one I actually assembled a few years ago. And then I put it back in a box and then when quarantine hit, I took it out of the box and I did it again <laughs> This one was fun to make because it had so many little monster faces it's very cute. Quality wise though, I would not recommend it. I'm gonna link it down below because the picture is nice, but quality wise, I was not impressed at all. The specific one, the pieces wouldn't click together like with any movement. If I moved the puzzle in any way, they would just come apart, like come undone, sort of, and I don't know, it, it is very pretty and it was fun to make, with the exception of the quality, I don't know. You know how some puzzles, when you put the pieces together, they just almost like click and they just hold tightly together? Not this one. This one won't do that. <laughs> we do the opposite. This one is from the same company But this one had really nice quality So I guess it's hit and miss I don't know This one was nice But it's a round puzzle And it was so much fun to make I really like round puzzles now <laughs> one is a bit more fun. It's like an ocean scene and it's also round. Very pretty in my opinion. I liked it. The quality was nice too. And this one was so much fun. I thought it would be difficult to make, to assemble, but it was surprisingly easy yeah. Lots of fun. I really liked this one Oh my god This one right here. Oh my god It is just gorgeous in my opinion, of course. You might not like it You might love it. I don't know, but I absolutely love it and it is the Iron Throne. I mean, come on, look at it. It's so badass. Oh. Um, the quality, the box is very nice. But the actual puzzle pieces, quality is absolutely amazing. One of the best out of all the ones that I already assembled, this one had the best quality. But it was probably one of the most challenging ones If I can remember, yeah, yeah, for sure This one was a bit more challenging for me It's not impossible, but it was a bit more challenging <laughs> But I absolutely love it I'm thinking to glue it and frame it Put it on the wall But I still feel like I want to Put it back in a box and at some point assemble it again So if I glue it, I won't be able to do that <laughs> Really, really love this one Really love it And the last one Ta -da. This is the only 2000 piece puzzle that I own I would like more 
but I can't seem to find, or if I do find them, they're just insanely overpriced in my opinion, so anyway, this was very fun it is quite big, it takes a bit of space, but that's okay yeah, makes me wanna have some candy I wouldn't really like many of these, this this wouldn't be my choice of sweets but the gummies definitely would be and the jelly beans, I would like that these ones right here look pretty good because they're like squishy and stuff, jelly gummies these ones too, I don't really like hard candy and that was all yeah, that's all the puzzles Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, let me know if you like puzzles. I know not a, not everybody likes puzzles. Some people find them very annoying and time consuming and they don't have the patience for it. I personally love puzzles. I would love to have a job just assembling puzzles. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying healthy and happy and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye!